this. This is basically what I spent to get this. $90 plus tax. Is it going to be worth every penny? Or did I throw my money away? We'll find out. Welcome to Whiskey Bank. My name is David. And let's be honest, I really want this to be good. Not just because I paid a lot of money for it, but I want the small distilleries from Georgia, Texas, Utah, Louisiana, et cetera, et cetera, to do really well. If they make good bourbons, that means we'll have an oversupply of good bourbons, which means hopefully the price will come down. But also some of these allocated bottles won't be allocated anymore. I mean, first thing that comes to mind is, you know, the Buffalo Trace, the Eagle Rares, the Stags, the E.H. Taylors, but even like Jack 10, the Jack 12 or the Russell's 13. And even though I'm sure they'll be limited, the fact that they're so high in demand kills me because they should be $1,500 bottles, not $200, $300 bottles. So hopefully companies like ASW will catch up and put that a little bit, you know, give them a little competition. That's all I want. So a little history about this bottle. ASW Distillery or American Spirits Whiskey opened in 2016 and it was only the second legally licensed distillery to open in Atlanta since the prohibition. Now, they do produce a lot of different types of whiskeys, single malts, dual malts, peated, bourbons, rice, etc, etc. Today, we'll be going over the Georgia Hartwood. So, the Georgia Hartwood is part of the Fiddler series. So, they have two lines of bourbons, the Fiddler and the Soloist. So, the Soloist is just their own distilled bourbons in the bottle. So, it's their solo bourbon juice. While the Fiddler also has two different lines, the Unison and the Georgia Hartwood. The Unison is a blend of source whiskeys and their own juice unified into a perfectly good tasting bourbon. While the, the Georgia Hartwood is 100% sourced whiskey, but what they do is they finish it with 20 to 30 charred white oak staves for three to five months. And those staves are from where? Georgia. That's why they call it Georgia Hartwood. Some of the stats on this, it's 115.8 proof. It's mash fill is 51% corn, 45% wheat, and 4% malted barley. Its age is non-age stated. It's non-chill filter and bottled at cash drink. And for this one, it's actually a Mr. K store pick here in Southern California. So a little disclaimer, my experience might be slightly different than yours, but most likely it's gonna be very similar. And as always, Way too much talking, not enough drinking. Let's get it. Opening ceremonies. La, la, la. Yes. All right. Let me let this open up for a couple of minutes. I'll be right back. All right. It's been about 15 minutes. Let's get right to it. Before I skip ahead to you know, bring you my experience faster, I'm going to give you my first impressions. Oh, nose is sweet. Oof, this might be worth every penny. I'll be right back. So the experience, one word, magical. I don't know if that actually, you know, explains anything, but hey, let's go over the details. So first the nose, it's like burnt brown sugar and caramel. But with a little bit of toffee, maple syrup, and I get a little bit of dark fruits. Um, I actually wrote down jammed raspberry mixed with caramel and maple syrup. So jammed raspberry, especially if you get the really good ones, it, you get a little bit of tartness from those raspberry and fruits, but none of the sourness and all the sweetness. And that's what this smells like. Oh, absolutely great. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, please press that like button it really does help me out. I was afraid the palate wouldn't live up to the nose, but was I wrong? So I wrote down rich caramel, creamy, oily, fantastic mouthfeel. It has slight notes of vanilla, toasted marshmallow, and dark chocolate with cinnamon spice at the end. It tasted like a perfect s'more. So you get the dark chocolate, 
the marshmallow. You get a little bit of caramel. You roast it absolutely to perfection. You put a little bit of vanilla spice and cinnamon spice. And you just put that in your mouth. Ooh, that sounds delicious. And this tastes that delicious. Ooh, it that rich, creamy feel really comes through. The only thing I'll nitpick on this is the finish is slightly short, medium. So you get the oaky caramel sweetness and you get the cinnamon spice and slight bitterness at the end, but then it kind of disappears. So, but that's being nitpicky. This is a wonderful, fantastic burger. For the experience score, 8.9. It's fantastic, it's sweet. It has the cinnamon spice. It has a slight of, slight of the dark chocolate bitterness. The only, again, the only nitpick I would do is a, the finish is slightly lacking compared to the nose and the palate. So, again, but it's a beautiful whiskey overall, 8.9. For the price, $90 plus tax. And it's, it, I haven't seen any secondary pricing on this because the allocation score is an eight. It's pretty widely available in areas you get it. For stop points, 6.5. It's not, ASW is unfortunately not as well known as the other distilleries, obviously, but because of this tall design and its musical fiddler, it actually gets a lot of people's attention. They're like, what is that? Wait, where is this from? So with all that combined, my final rating, the buy have one on your shelf it is a wonderful great tasting burger it's sweet but it's spice it has a slight bitterness it's complex it's balanced but it's so sweet it's rich creamy the caramel it just it, it has everything and so i the only thing that's that, out, that holds it back from a strong buy is the price. $90 or $100 plus tax is, is kind of steep. And so I would just say buy. I don't think you need a backup, especially since it's, you know, you don't, it's not really allocated. You can kind of get it whenever you want. Buy, have one on your shelf at all times. Thanks for watching. I hope you come back. If you're wondering, if you want to watch the May or June whiskey oil videos, that will let you know what type of whiskeys that I reviewed and or what type of whiskeys I'll be reviewing in the future. Thank you again. See you next time.